Really?
We're back. Oh, hey, so are you. Found nothing to speak of, I take it? Glad you made it back in one piece. What happened to Kaito? You know how it is with him. Once the patrol's over, it's straight off to the anime shops to hunt for rare goods. There's no stopping that dork. Ah, uh, okay. Well, quieter without him around anyway. So I say let him have his fun. But since you're back at least, we've got ourselves a little problem. Here. What's this? A business card? Daishihan Pharmaceuticals, CEO Shion Kasugai. She's been following us. What? We were attacked by her subordinates. According to her, it was a test of our abilities. What the hell? Are you telling me this, um, Shion Kasugai person is on the monster side? She doesn't appear to be part of the organization, no. Seems she's simply taken an interest in the Sinisters. Wait, so does she know you are one? Oh, come now. Do you really think the CEO of an entire corporation has time enough to fawn over an otaku like yourself? Ah, tee -hee. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you all. Oh, no need for those faces. I left the henchman back at the office this time. Hold up a sec. 
You here as a customer, pretty lady? Or did you come here on business? <laughs> Let's just say I'm hoping to make friends, or acquaintances at the very least. So, a customer then. Well, why didn't you say so sooner? Welcome to Game Bar Mogra. What do you have? Well, it's a bit early in the day for sake, so perhaps I'll sample a bit of this tea. Iced, please. Coming right up. Why are you here exactly? <laughs> I come bearing gifts. Well, one gift, but I think you'll appreciate it. Might I take your picture with my phone, little boy? Oh, you want money, do you? Well, I do have plenty, of course, but not for you. <laughs> What's going on? You're all staticky, but everything around you is crystal clear. It's a photo app I put together, based on the results of my research and analysis so far. It's still in early alpha, but it works. You see, synthesters give off a slight glow of sorts that's invisible to the naked eye. But as I learned from the data I gathered, if you're able to see the UV spectrum, it looks like a wavy distortion in the surrounding light. To tell you the truth, I couldn't have made this breakthrough without you. You see, when I sicked my subordinates on you, I, um, I had one of them grab a hair from your head. So you really did know he was a synthester from the very start, then? That was my hypothesis, yes. And now it's confirmed. In any case, if you make use of this app, you'll be able to distinguish between synthesters and ordinary humans easily. Okay, so why not just give everybody the app for free? It'd cut down on the number of victims, don't you think? Well, I had considered that, yes, but for one thing, the app has a very short range. You can only see the distortion if they're very close by. If we encouraged everyone to get closer to the synthesters, we'd only be exposing them to danger. It's putting the cart before the horse. Remember also, the general public isn't truly aware of their existence yet. Introduce an app like this into the environment we have now, and suddenly, everyone wants a piece of the pie. And then, ugh, oh, nothing but headaches. Hmm. Wait, Shizuku, you said before you were able to tell synthesters from regular people, right? How do you do it? Is there some kind of giveaway or something? My case is a bit special. I can simply sense them. And that's where I come in. If you use my app, you won't need to rely on one single person's senses to spot the enemy anymore. What are you after? I already told you, I'm simply interested in the synthesters themselves. There's some kind of nefarious organization pulling the strings behind the scenes, actively striving to create disorder in this town. And I want to know what we're dealing with. I want to know what manner of creature these things are, and what this secret organization is planning to do with them. They must be the ones responsible for your condition as well, are they not? They're hunting for something. But you refused to be a part of it, didn't you? You rejected them and fled. Why is that? If they had, would you have stayed, I wonder? At any rate, this has been a most enlightening conversation. My app is yours to use as you wish, and I do hope you'll put it through its paces. Ah, but look at the time. I'm afraid I'll have to cancel my tea order. Huh? But it's just about done. You gonna pay for it at least? Oh, of course. You may keep the change as well. A 10,000 yen bill? Man, you management types sure don't mess around. Hey, I know that ringtone. It's one of Lynn's songs, right? Of course. She sings for our company as a mascot idol. Oh, yeah. Like in that TV commercial for your guys' cold medicine, right? Yes. And she has a little surprise performance in store for everyone today. Not long from now, in fact. What? Seriously? You wouldn't happen to know where, would you? At the plaza outside the Bella Hall Assembly Hall, if memory serves. <gasps> we should totally go. 
Shizuku, what do you think? Do you want to come with? I'll... pass. Oh, okay. Well, then the two of us will go. We'll patrol the area, test out the camera app, and catch the street show all at once. Three birds with one stone. On that note, it's time I take my leave. Until we meet again. <laughs> Come back anytime. That woman is hiding something. Ah! Sheesh. No matter how many times you skulk out of that room of yours, it always scares the crap out of me. Adults can't be trusted to begin with. But her, she's definitely keeping secrets. You saying you can't trust me either? Don't worry, you're still one of the cool kids. Kids, huh? Not sure how I feel about that. Come on, we don't want to miss the show. Bella Hall Plaza. It's just northwest off of Main Street. Brother. Got it. Brother. Brother, got it.
Hold on a sec. Okay. Good luck.
Hey, hey, hey. 